This is Dr. Albert Telfian, Endoscopic Spine Institute of New York, and today we're at the 57th Street Dunkin' Donuts in New York City to explain annular tears. All right, so courtesy of Dunkin' Donuts, an annular tear. So the disc is like an onion on the outside. You have layers and layers and layers. But on the inside, you have the jelly, okay? The nucleus pulposa, the nucleus pulposa, right? And so what happens with an annular tear is that you get a tear in the onion, okay? So what that looks like on an MRI might just be a little bright spot, right? But so this can be a lot like an iceberg, right? You just see the little tip of the iceberg, but what's really going on in here for patients is that they have part of the disc that is stuck in this annular tear, right? So the onion, disc, onion. And so patients with back pain, back problems like that, annular tear, you know, they should get better over time, right? This onion, this um, uh, disc herniation should dry up and then this onion should heal, right? But what happens if it doesn't, right? So then somebody has a chronically injured annulus, right? And they have a piece of disc stuck in this annulus. And so these are patients who tell you, you know, I think I'll start to get better and then my back will act up. So this annulus is constantly trying to heal, but you have this disc herniation stuck in there, right? So for these patients, they have back pain typically, and it's like a band-like pain in their back, like a little belt that they wear, and it's a tightness, and that's from the torn annulus, and the annulus doesn't heal because you've got some of the jelly in the disc there, right? So just like it makes common sense, right? Glue won't dry if there's water around, right? So if you see a surgeon, they might say, oh, okay, you know, we're gonna do a laminectomy and a discectomy, or oh, we'll just remove the whole disc, it's done. Um, we'll do a fusion. And so what we do with endoscopic spine surgery is all we do is we go in and we remove that disc with a tube the size of a number two pencil. We remove that herniation we target where the annular tear is. We don't want to do any more damage to the annulus. We remove the herniated piece so the annulus can heal. Outpatient procedure through an incision the size of a pea. All right, so it's an option.